This guide is going to be for people who want to play Dolby Digital Audio in QuickTime or QuickTime 10 in either Leopard or Snow Leopard. I don't know if it works in Tiger, but give it a try. And then to play the audio over an optical cable to your amplifier so that you'll get the full surround sound experience instead of having down mixed surround sound to two channel PCM. Now first, I'll show you how to find out if a file does have Dolby Digital Audio. So open the file with QuickTime. Click Window and show Movie Inspector. Now here AC3 means Dolby Digital. Six channels, that just means 5.1. 48,000 Hertz, that is the sample rate which you will need to remember for later on. So close the video. Then download Perian and P List Edit Pro. I'll put the links into the, the description of this video. Then open up System Preferences, click Perian. Make sure this is set to stereo, not multi channel output. Stereo. And after that, you have to locate a file. It should be your home folder. You go to library, preferences. And this one here is the one you want. com.cod3r.a52 codec.plist. So open this with plist edit pro. Click two channel mode. Click new sibling. And here was his new item. Change that to attempt pass through. Make sure that the spelling is correct and that this P is capitalized. We want to change the string to number, change the zero to a one. Save the changes and quit. Now at this point, without the optical cable connected to your computer, if you play the file, you should hear this sound. If you hear that sound, that means everything worked so far. And then remember that 48,000 hertz I told you to remember? You're going to have to use that now for here. Go to Applications. Utilities, Audio MIDI Setup, click Built-in Output and change this 44,100 Hz to, oh yeah, but before you do this, insert the optical cable to your computer. So it should say digital out and change this to 48,000 hertz. Two channel, not encoded digital audio. And then quit. And then if you play the audio file, you should see something like this on the screen of your amplifier. Now if there's a problem like the the audio is coming out of the wrong channels, like for example if the left surround speaker is coming out of the center speaker instead, then you have to open the file with QuickTime 7, not QuickTime 10, I don't know why Apple didn't 
add this feature into QuickTime 10. But yeah, you can do a QuickTime 7, so just open up the file. Oh, but for this you'll need QuickTime 7 Pro, you can't use the standard version. And then click Window, Show Movie Properties, should say here Surround, AC3, and then click Audio Settings, and then you can change the channel layout like so. For example, 